Hey, this is Lelanthia here. Welcome back. I'm uh, rocking out some more of the red-green energy deck. Going to be playing it here in the standard competitive league. Um, I feel like this hand is fine. We're going to go ahead and keep it and uh, see where it takes us. We're going to have a couple of choices to make here. If like if I want to do the electrostatic pummeler first. Oh, we got a crypt breaker. He's a pretty cool guy. Doesn't afraid of anything. That swamp. That's beautiful. Damn, Mirage, you have some good-looking lands. All right, let's see here. So we're gonna play Forest. We're gonna pass out the turn. So he untaps. God, I just can't get over how beautiful this swamp looks. Bob Eggleston, you're a master. Especially since I'm recording this on Halloween. This is just a fantastic-looking Halloween swamp. Probably a pass priority here. <laughs> Alright. Go to main phase. Oh, okay, sweet. We hit a mountain. That's great. So we're going to go ahead and get on the cub plan then. And then we'll pass the turn. And then EOT, he's discarding a card to create a zombie. Cool. Oh, he's getting a haunted den out. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what the zombie deck can do. Is a relentless dead? Okay, that's a pretty good board. I think for now. Okay, cool. So we'll definitely come in. So let's go ahead and go like that. Get our energy. And then I think I actually just want to do a double attune here. So I can play the Hellion, and that's great. It might clean up two creatures, but the Cub won't get through. I think... Let's actually just go ahead and play the Pummeler. I don't think we're in any hurry. We've got a lot of creatures. And I'm a little bit worried about his, his blocking situation, although now he's going to draw a card. Yep, you got it. Drawsy drawsies. Show me what you've got. Okay, second Relentless Dead, that's good. That Mural of Avacyn is beautiful too. The artwork in these cards. Like, the Pummeler is kind of cool looking, the Cub's kind of cool looking, whatever. Damn, this card is just beautiful, straight up. Alright, what do we got here? We got a Larger Than Life, so we can get Trample in here. And then we can attune to get us up to 6 energy. But yeah, let's go ahead and attune. Get a Forest. Play a Forest. And then, a little larger than life. And then... I think we stop trying to do stuff there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and just swing in. Okay. He doesn't have a murder up. I don't know if there's like a good two-drop removal spell that he might have here. But let's find out. Okay, we're in blocks. What are you gonna do? Okay. Yeah, he's going all in there. Okay. That's fine. Double. And double. You're taking 15. Relentless dead triggers happen. That's cool. Damn, if I had had three more energy, then that would have been lethal. 
I mean, I guess it's kind of not weird that it happened that way. You know, Alex thinks that we would be better off not running Pummeler and just running more of a straight beatdown strategy. I don't know how I feel about that, because Pummeler feels good. He's spending a bunch of time dealing here with his triggers. Always fun. Resolve triggers. Okay, so you're getting back a Relentless. And a Crypt Breaker. I feel like that's the right call. Okay. Cool, let's go to second main. Oh, I screwed myself a little bit there. Okay, that's fine though. So I should have attuned first, but that's okay. Play Relentless Dead. Cool. And then... What else do you have? Okay. Ether Hub is fantastic. So let's attune. A mountain. Play the Hellion. And then we're just going to swing on the Hellion. So I need one more good pump spell and I win the game. Has to be one that grants trample, though. Don't make a zombie in response. And he's dumping a spell shrivel? He's in blue? Apparently, I guess. Weird. And then, yes, we'll prevent that. So, like, maybe we see it built to smash? Does that give trample? No, I want the plus two, plus one, and trample thing. I think blossoming defense doesn't get us there. Okay, but that puts us up to seven energy. Do we... I think we go ahead and team. Yeah, the team. Let's see what he decides to do here. That's his choices. Well, let's go ahead and Blossoming Defense it. Play the awkward tempo game. Try and keep him off creatures, make him recast. He'll draw a card, cool. And then it'll be dies, dies, and then he can pay two black, or pay a black to get it back, and then pay a black to get back Crypt Breaker. But basically we're just trying to keep him off of having enough blockers.
Okay, come on. Show me your moves. Okay, Relentless Dead. You got me. Oh, there's no language in this format, is there? I will keep this, yes. So, like, anything that grants Trample and I win. So that's what we're looking for here, is a larger than life, or whatever that card is that does plus two, plus one, and Trample. We nail either of those down, we win the game. Or he may just be in a bad place if he can't get enough blockers out. Oh, he got a scooter looter. It's a foil scooter looter. Looter scooter? Scooter looter. Oh, he's grasping the pummeler. He got it. But so... Any pump spell at all here and we win. That wasn't a pump spell though. But we can scare him out of it. Because he'll block, block, and go to one. Mm hmm. Fantastic. And then he can't buy back the dead. He also can't Crypt Breaker anymore. And let's keep my Helion online. She's got all of this beautiful swamp. So stoked on that. I just don't think the Kaladesh cards are very pretty. Like, some of the green cards are kind of cool looking, but... I don't know. He's not going to attack. Oh, does he not have a blocker? What is this? I feel like he's got a removal spell. Well, Darren Pariah, that's pretty good. You can only play one, though. But he gets the Haunted Dead in tapped and a prized amalgam. So it's blue black zombies. Okay, so how are you going to block this? Okay. What do you got? Okay, makes sense. Crypt Breaker in front there. Okay. Got it. Crypt Breaker dies. <clears throat> like, he's in a really bad position here. I'm in top deck mode, which isn't good, but... He's at such a low life total that there's very little he can really do at this point. Okay, let's go ahead and play the Hydra and get some energy. He's hard to remove. 
and he just keeps getting bigger. And he gets an amalgam, so he's in a pretty good place here now, by virtue of having those two creatures. But let's see if he's smart enough to play around the Hellion, because the Hellion's really going to be potentially what hurts him out here. Or maybe top decking an Arlen cord would be kind of cool. Okay, here comes the scooter looter. Is he gonna go the team in the air? He is. I am surprised. I guess he could be discarding another Voldaire or Voldaire and Pariah though. A choked estuary. He's just like, I don't even need blue. Whatever. And yeah, I'll take the damage. That's fine. Okay. So, what do I want on top here? Is it Arlingcord? No. Oh. I'm tuned with Aether. I mean, it's alright. We get a basic out of our deck. It's fine. I can at least survive another turn. We've got such few lands left in our deck that we're kind of in the hot zone. Okay, are you gonna... Okay. We're playing this game. So it's going to transform. Man, Pariah is so good. So I'm pretty sure he just makes me sack it and then kills me next turn. I don't like Bristling Hydra very much in this match. Like, it felt like it was just too little too late. Definitely want to see Arlen. Definitely like the Helion. I'm gonna go down a Pummeler. Clipped Wings may not be bad. Definitely want Harness Lightnings. Let's kill... does this give trample? Yes, it does, if it's an artifact. Let's cut one built. Let's cut... one servant. So we've got a little bit more removal to play with here in the early game. I wish we had graveyard hate. That'd be great. Oh, is that even in standard right now? Do we have good graveyard hate? I honestly don't know. Deck submitted. Starting to not like this deck very much. I don't know if Alex is just better at mulliganing than me, but he had a lot of success. Okay, game trail, game trail, forest. We'll take Brawler, Uncaged Fury, Harness Lightning, Larger Than Life. This seems fine. Let's keep it. I think this is the kind of hand we're looking for. So let's go ahead and play a game trail. No. Pass.
Okay. So we get a Crypt Breaker. Coolio. And, alright, let's play. Oh, I should have played the game trail. Oh well, we did it. It's been committed to. We'll take Brawler. Pass turn. Okay, plays the copter. That's fantastic. Game trail has to come and play tapped because I'm dumb. Okay. So, let's go trample here. I do like the larger than life gives trample. I think that's pretty cool. It makes it a little bit different than monstrous growth without being better or worse. Let's come in. And then... Let's pay the energy. And you take eight. Perfect. So then we can do eight next time as well. Or we can just come in with the Hillian. Oh, it gets trampled. So yeah, we'll double strike it. Especially since he may not have a blocker. Okay. Show me what you got. Scoot and loot, buddy. Scoot and loot. Kind of wish it was like a Razor Scooter. That'd be sweet. Anyone else remember Razor Scooters? I still see kids around here driving them sometimes. Ooh, the Sunken Hollow. All right. You got what's the two mana play what is your two mana play collective brutality well that's unfortunate all right i guess you're getting hellion choose an instant or sorcery. So he's deciding between Uncaged Fury and Harness Lightning. I think he's going to take the Lightning, probably. I mean, that was pretty good. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, double Hellion. That slows out a game pretty fast. Where'd he gain life at? Oh no, he was, yeah, he was at 12. Oh, loses two life and gain two life, okay. Rune is pathing my Hellion, that's just rude. He's down to one card in hand. He loots away a land though, that might mean he got some action. Or another copter, okay. Alright, we're taking some damage. Not a fan of that whole thing. So, Hydra. I think I like Hydra here because the lack of removal on it. And it gives us multiple lines next turn. So, if they kill the Hydra, we get to play the Hellion. If they don't, then we get to Uncaged Fury and just come in and kill them. Okay. 
Because Uncaged Fury makes it exact ease without a blocker. And then if he ends up with a blocker, I'd rather play the Hellion. He does have a Haunted Dead in the graveyard, which is scary. Worrisome would be a good word for it, I think. Man, looting takes forever. I don't want to play that card. I mean, I guess we know how good that sort of a mechanic can be, though. Especially on a 3-3 flying body. I wouldn't be surprised to see Smuggler's Copter getting played in, like, a Delver, Young, Pyromancer, Shell, and Modern. Like, just knowing that the Young Pyromancer tokens can crew it is pretty cool. And then you get to play Bolts, which is great. Maybe if Copters come down a price, I might try building it. Yep, Pariah. Makes me sack three guys potentially. doing it. Nope. So we got a game trail. Hooray. Uh, let's come in with the Bristling Hydra and see if they know the line. Alright. What have you got? You're gonna block. Okay. He lets it die. I am actually surprised. That means he didn't see the line. Oh, it says three other creatures, doesn't it? And you grasp me. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I want to top deck a basic or an ether hub. Hey, okay, crew your looter. Oh, making a zombie. Okay. Now use that to crew smuggler's copter and swing in. Okay, if I top deck a land, you lose. Okay, go to six. Danger zone. Do I top deck and land? Nope. I think I let them feel safe. So, because if I swing through here, they're going to be like, okay, I'm at six. I can probably survive one more. I need them to not leave up a blocker. No. Let's get him down there.
So at this point I need to see a larger than life. Okay, on to dead. Got it. Yeah. He has no cards in hand. That's good for us. I'm gonna swing into the looter. And then, what? I hope that he gets a madness spell? Oh, f me. That's lethal. Okay, he got me. Alright, so that was our second match in this competitive standard league with the red green energy deck. I am not having a lot of faith in this deck after playing practice games in the. Um, goodness, the tournament practice cues. I felt like the deck was doing really well there, and here in this particular case, like in these actual real four tickets games, it's not performing as well as I want it to, so. Uh, we're gonna, anyway, we're gonna try and run it back and see if we can get our next three so that we can at least break even. We'll see what happens, and thanks for watching. If you like the video, check out the next one. It'll be up here probably tomorrow. And then, uh, you know, throw us a subscribe if you want to see some more content. Take care.